Hi, and welcome to Something Extra, a show that was created for you to learn more about people with Down syndrome in your community. I am your host, Maria Severson. Today's show is all about our Sunburst Gala, and you will be meeting some very special VIPs and huge supporters of Desanio. Welcome to Something Extra. I am here with our Sunburst Gala event chair, Kevin Campbell. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Maria. How are you? I'm good, good. good. I'm so excited that you're here with us today. Um, let's open up with you telling us about yourself. Yeah, sure. Well, first of all, I want to say thank you for having me. I mean, this is an absolute pleasure to be part of this incredible organization. Um, married. I've uh, been married to my wife, Shelly, for 19 years. It's going to be 20 years in June, mm -hmm. so really special time for our family. And, and uh, have three kids. So our oldest, Brady, is a senior in high school, so we're on the journey looking for colleges and where he's going to go. Uh, Grant is our middle child. He is a freshman in high school. And then our youngest, uh, Elin, is in the sixth grade. Mm -hmm. So uh, You're busy. Yeah, very busy. My wife's very busy. <laughs> I travel a decent amount with work. I work at Moen Incorporated. Mm -hmm. I've been there for, it'll be 26 years in June. So my whole career has been with Mo, and I started there oh. right out of college and um, just blessed and, and really lucky to work at an incredible organization like Moen. Mm -hmm. um, so busy life, but um, all things are good with the Campbell family. But you do some charity work as well? I do, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, um, I'm on the board for the Habitat for Humanity and have been doing that for a few years. In fact, my son has also been involved with the Habitat. He started a uh, chair event at St. Ignatius and helped build a house. He worked on uh, several fundraising events and has just done incredible work. I also just recently joined the Cleveland Greater Partnership, so new on that board but excited to be part of it. Uh, also involved with the City of Hope, which is a cancer research hospital, <laughs> and they do incredible work. And they are very ambitious, and their goal is to cure cancer mm -hmm. and to cure diabetes. So as an industry within uh, home and hardware, Moen has been involved in that for greater than 30 years. And as an industry, we, we've raised over $180 million. And so really proud to be, to be part of those, those charities. And then this. Mm -hmm. And I yeah, can't wait to be. Yeah, and we are so excited. We're thrilled to have Moen as part of our Summer Scala this year. This is the first time you're our silver sponsor. I, yeah, I, I couldn't tell you how thrilled we are as an organization mm -hmm. and, and myself personally to be a part of this and, and really honored to chair the, the event and looking forward to it. So prior to this um, event, you've never been involved with an organization with Down syndrome? I have not. In no? fact, I will tell you that my involvement and experience personally with Down syndrome has been somewhat limited. Uh, mm -hmm. I will tell you that with our family and friends, limited experience with it, but that all changed. That changed in July of last year. Mm -hmm. You mentioned charity work. One of the things that my family and I do every year is we go to the University of Notre Dame and we spend a week volunteering there. And it's different events. Every day is something different. But one of the days last year in July that we did was spend a day at a special needs camp. And it was our favorite day of all the mm -hmm. years that we've done this and all the different activities that we do in and around South Bend. Spending a day at that place really changed us. Mm -hmm. And What happened? We met an individual <laughs> there, a young man named Tanner. And he was drawn to us, and I'll tell you, we were, we were drawn to him. And so we spent the entire day with Tanner, listening to music, getting to know him, and he brings such a light to this world that, you know, when we left, we were all disappointed and, and thought, will we ever speak to Tanner again? Will we ever see Tanner again? Mm -hmm. And somehow that day, we, we still don't know, <laughs> he got one of our phone numbers. <laughs> and so later that evening, after the day was over, we were at dinner, mm -hmm. and one of us received a phone call. We didn't know who it was, so we answered it, and it was Tanner. Oh. And it was like a celebrity called us. We were all fighting over the phone <laughs> to talk to Tanner and to see how it's the rest so of his fun. day went. And 
since that day, um, back in July of last year, if not weekly, almost daily, we talk to Tanner. And it might just be a simple phone call. Mm -hmm. It is often a FaceTime and it is, he asks us to send goodnight videos if, if I'm traveling. Mm -hmm. And so our connection with Tanner since July of last year has remained just as strong and if not stronger. Uh, one of the things that we did because we missed him mm -hmm. was we surprised him and his dad with tickets to the Ohio State Notre Dame game and Tanner didn't know mm -hmm. and so we all went to South Bend as a family we surprised him at a tailgate we spent the day with him went to the football game and it was just incredible and so you know when I was asked to chair this event it was in the middle of all of this mm -hmm. relationship building with Tanner and it just felt like it was meant to be someone um, called me an individual a great guy at Moen Adam Barger He's our senior director over all of global brand marketing for Moen. He said, hey, there's an event. It's called the Sunburst Gala, and it's happening. Would you like to chair it? And I asked what it was, and he explained it to me, and I couldn't believe it. <laughs> and I said, I, I would be thrilled and honored to be a part of an incredible organization, and, and I just really look forward to it. And we look forward to having you at our gala. Thank you very much. Um, since your relationship with Tanner has um, blossomed, how has he changed your perception of individuals with Down syndrome? I'll tell you, um, and, and my guess is that a lot of experiences that we have had with a young man with Down syndrome are very similar to experiences that others have. And it is one of complete joy. It is an individual that is there to make others happy and to always bring a positive light to our lives and the world. And we have stressful lives. You know, mm -hmm. I have a busy job and our kids are very busy and my wife is very busy. And often after a really, really long and tough day, we look at each other and say, I think we need to call Tanner. <laughs> And after we talk to Tanner, it just brings a light into your life. It is just such an absolute pleasure. And so, you know, my hope is that others have very similar experiences, and I think they probably do. And what I think is so wonderful about this organization is for those that, from diagnosis through changes in stages of life, mm -hmm. that you're here. Yes, in fact, I've are. talked to his mother and asked her, because we're learning, mm -hmm. you know, asking about Tanner and, and, um, and making sure that we're treating him with the utmost respect and ensuring that he's happy. And she said to me, I'm still learning every day. And she, she still is learning about what it's like to have a son with Down syndrome. And I talked about this organization and how this mm -hmm. organization is there every step of the way. And so, you know, my perception of individuals like Tanner is nothing but just absolute love and appreciation for who these human beings are. And I often say this to my family, I, I hope that we bring as much joy to him as, as he does to us. I'm sure you do. I, sure I, you I do. hope you do. Well, I loved hearing your story today. Thank you for sharing Thank it with us. Thank you so much. I really appreciate being here. Well, we will be right back with Lauren Hunter. with Lauren Hunter, our co MC for the Sunburst Gala. Hello, Lauren. Hi, Maria. So, Lauren, you told me you were a cute housewife. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am a cute housewife. Um, I, I am a cute housewife to start with, yes. I um, also have a little family of three, uh, my husband, Derek, and then we have a cute little dog, and he's happy. She is my life, and I... <laughs> I do all the things to help her and do all the things with her kind of thing. So it's really cool to um, to do that, to do all that and be a great dog mommy. Um, so I, you and, and Derek have been married for seven we've years? We've been married for seven years, mm -hmm. going on eight this year. And you do a lot of things we together? We do a lot of things together. We um, go to Bible study together every Thursday night. Um, it was a young married couple group. Um, that we really enjoy going to. Um, 
and we do, him and I do a lot of things together on the weekends and stuff like that. And then um, I also have been on a weight loss journey for the last six and a half years or so. And I lost over 25 pounds. And you look great. I kept it up. And, mm -hmm. um, and so I have a personal, I have a wellness coach that I've been going to twice a week to meetings and great people. And I, she also is my personal coach, helping me um, through different situations I, that she's helping me through all and helping me with my weight loss at the same time. So it's a really cool thing that she's helping me and um, it's just been, an, it's been incredible with her and how that all happening and mm -hmm. I'm a different person of who I am now than I was. Aww. And that's helped you with your business too, right? And that has helped me with my business as well mm -hmm. too, yeah. Let's talk about Baskets with Love. How yes. did it get started? So it was a dual partnership when I first started Baskets with Love um, about six years ago. Um, I love spreading love everywhere I can. I, can I love do. that. <laughs> um, I actually, um, there was one point that we couldn't do that, and I was in COVID. Mm -hmm. So instead of gift giving, we had to um, we had to do something else. So I started a talk show so we can spread love all over the place and everywhere we can be at that time. Mm -hmm. So I did one little video and went viral, and then I was like, we got we got to do this. Let's, let's do this. <laughs> So three and a half years later, we did it. Uh -huh. um, Kara didn't want to do it at first, and <laughs> she's a beautiful singer. We do a karaoke. We do all kinds of cool things on the show, mm -hmm. and um, and then she fell in love doing it, and we did it together. We have a whole down, have right downstairs. It's like a real studio, just like this, and we did it for three and a half years because it's been a love show, and we did that because we wanted to spread love, not just, not just what we couldn't do, but we can literally do it. So we did that for three and a half years and then we got into our fundraising that we've been doing mm -hmm. and that took up a lot of our time. Cause we but you're about, really passionate about it. Yes, I'm mm -hmm. really passionate about that. I know we, we, we started way back when and it slowly got going and then it got really going mm -hmm. in the last like since, since right after COVID happened, um, it really got moving. So, you fundraise for our veterans. Yeah, so we do yes. our veterans. Mm -hmm. And a really cool thing about this is because um, my grandfather, right after he passed, uh, he let me money to start my business. So, if it, and he was a veteran himself. So it kind of like goes in for a circle that he, that he left that for me and he was a veteran. And I get to bless all my, I get to bless so many veterans all because of him. So it was a really cool moment. We've done this for six and a half years, and we made $1,800 in the last six years doing mm -hmm. this, and we are still going. Mm -hmm. So you're honoring his memory? Yes. So very sweet, yes. sweet. So this is this is the veterans box that so you put together? this is the veterans box that we have in here. Mm -hmm. um, this is what it looks like at the end. And it says, grateful, respectful, American vet, admiration, remembering, with love. So, so people can purchase these people boxes. People can purchase them. They're forty dollars for mm -hmm. a box, and, and then, then you give them to a veteran. And you can give them to a veteran that you know mm -hmm. and love. Uh, so inside of these boxes that we have, we have a little thank you coming from Boxes with Love. We also have like, um, we have like lots of stuff, lots of goodies in here. Tissues. We have a really nice man shirt. Pencils, um, cards, food, socks, mm -hmm. a little, a little God bless thing, um, a little cute little package that says "You Lock" on it. Gum, like all like flashlights, um, just all different things that they can use for every day that they don't be able to get, and that's why that's one of the reasons why. Um, we want to give, and mm -hmm. this is so thoughtful of you. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you're our—I mentioned you're our gala 
co-host. Yes, I am. <laughs> and in addition to that, yes. you're donating the table centerpieces for yes, the evening. Yes, we are. And here's a display of our centerpiece yes, for the night. Yes, display mm -hmm. of what we're doing. And, um, and would you like to tell us a little bit about some of yes. the things here? So what you see on here is, basic, is basically um, what you see on the when you walk in, you will see this. And um, each one, each thing on here has something to represent. So the past work world may you create memories, traditions through the years, showing family and friends together in faith, hope, and love. The sunburst heart that you see here is may your future be bright, may you always feel loved. The book. May you always be inspired. Remember, no limits and dream big. And the book is about you. And the book is about me, mm -hmm. yes. And that'll be on every table. And then we also have chocolate, happy tissues, and candle, and a, a, the book. And the tissues, may you always only have tears of joy. The chocolate, may you always feel valued. Candlelight, may you always, may your light shine bright. And that will be for the tables. And then for the other centerpieces that you see up here, mm -hmm. it means the ease of you always know you are a great art masterpiece. <laughs> so everything here represents something. So, yeah, so everything on the that will be on the table at the gala will yes. symbolizes something about, you know, improving someone's life because you're Correct. on this wellness journey. Correct. So you wanted to spread that around too. Yes, mm -hmm. there's, this, there's so many things that there's, there's no limit. So you might as well, you might as well do that and you might as well just, there's, you really can do really anything. I have my own business. Like, I never thought I would do that. I'm the only one in my, I went to, from, High school, middle school, and college. I graduated from all three, and I was homeschooled for ten years. And my parents had said no limits, so I faced all that. And um, this is really no limits. So we, um, my family, that I, my, my family was a family with entrepreneurs. They had like three generations of being entrepreneurs. So I was like, now, I'm the now only you're one, one in my graduating mm -hmm. class that has their own business. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a really cool thing that you don't see every day. <laughs> and it's really no limits really at all. Like you can really do anything. And um, I agree. And that's how I can do all that and be mm -hmm. able to have people help me and back me up like my family and my husband and personal coaching and it just helps me so much. Well, you're such an inspiring young lady, Lauren. Thank you. I'm so glad you were here with us today. Yes. We'll, we will be right back with Todd Meany. Hi, I am here with Todd Meany from Fox 8 News. And a really cool thing about Todd is that it was full circle for me because when I first started my business eight years ago, uh, he interviewed me, and now I'm interviewing you. That's awesome. So that's a cool full circle moment. See, I love that. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, well, that's, it's, really it's great cool. to be here with you, and it's yeah. uh, great to be a part of this uh, this interview. Yes. So, Todd, you are our guest for the Summer's Gala. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Todd Meany. I, uh, I was born here in, uh, in the Cleveland area. Uh, grew up, uh, moved around a little bit, doing some TV stuff. Went to school at Bowling Green State University, uh, and uh, Mid Park graduate in 1990. Mm -hmm. Then I uh, kind of came back here. I've been working at Fox 8 for the past 24 years now. It's been a long time. That's uh, crazy. I know, right? <laughs> for being one place for 24 years. Uh, married to my wife Joy for the past 24 years as well. Uh, I have three boys, uh, Dylan, Max, and Colin, who are 23, 21, and 18 now. That is really cool. Do you have any any uh, connection with Down syndrome? I do. Um, I, I did a buddy walk uh, many years ago. Uh, I, I, Lou Maglio had, from our mm -hmm. station had asked me if I wanted to be a part of it. And I had a woman that lived across the street mm -hmm. who, uh, who said, hey, would you want to do the buddy walk? That time it was down, I think, at the Science Center. And we did something down there. And I, I kind of 
you know, lost touch with the group, hadn't done mm -hmm. much, and then um, had a couple people at work, uh, Gabe Spiegel, who has his son Eli, and of course uh, Lou Maglio, who has uh, his son as well. And uh, I got a little bit more familiar with it, and then there was a guy who was hosting the Sunburst Gala. He was a radio guy, and he couldn't make it because he got another job like across the country. So he said, sorry, I can't make it. Could you help out and fill in? I go, yeah, sure, why not? I'd be happy to. And it was a really wonderful event. It was so cool. I think that was the yellow theme that we had that one year, and there was just yellow everywhere. It was really cool. I just kind of fell in love with the group. And so now I've been doing not only singing the national anthem at the Buddy Walks mm -hmm. every year, uh, but also hosting the Sunburst Gala, which is a real fun thing for me to do. Yes, and I also sing at the Buddy Walk because I've been there with my, with my business. Mm -hmm. So I heard you sing and all the things, yeah. and see you doing all your all your cool magic and all that you do. Yeah. So it's really cool that like I get I get to do the body walk and get to do this with you. It's nice that we get to do stuff all year round with Desanio, you know, and yes. not, it's not just yes. one event, mm -hmm. you know, that we have in February and March, but mm -hmm. it's the buddy walk and it's all the other stuff that they do throughout the exactly. year. Exactly. And yeah. I actually um, it was eight years ago when I started with Desanio. Okay. So it was really cool that it all connected somehow. Yeah. So how did it get involved with Desanio? Um like I said, that Sunburst Gala was was kind of the big uh, big kind of kickoff for me as well. But I also um, had a, uh, a a friend of my wife, one of her best friends. She uh, she has a daughter who has Down syndrome, uh, Olivia, uh, and uh, we call her Bubba. And she, uh, I think she's about maybe five years old right now, and, mm -hmm. and she's been doing wonderful. And uh, I knew that because of my work with the Sunburst Gala, I knew that I needed to get more involved mm -hmm. and be a little bit more uh, a part of Desanio and, and the things, the great things that, that happened. So mm -hmm. that really gave me kind of that personal connection. I already had the connection uh, from, from meeting all, all my friends, you know, that I would see all the time uh, who would come into the studio or do interviews or things like that. But uh, having that personal connection too through, through a friend that I didn't know was associated mm -hmm. with Desanio uh, really brought me a little more into the fold. Mm -hmm. So you are returning at the Summer's Gala as the, um, the host of the, of the event. Yeah. Uh, what inspires you to support? Just the fact that there's so many great things the organization does, uh, the, the Artful 21 stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. that, that I, when, when I went the first time and I saw the, all the great businesses that were, were there and all the things that you guys make and all the services that you do, I said, what a great way to help people, you know, mm -hmm. make some money, Learn some skills and and you know be be part of uh, the community as well. So that really really helped me to kind of again get that personal connection and mm -hmm. be a little more a part of it. But I love uh, what the Sunburst Gala does because it's a great way to feature mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the entrepreneurs that have mm -hmm. come up, like me, that, like you, right? Because my my business will be there too. Oh, cool. So you'll know at least one of them there. Uh, that's right. And I'm also going to be the co-host with you yep. at the gala. I'm really looking forward to that. That's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a good time out mm -hmm. there. It's one of those where we get to joke around a little bit, we get to have fun, mm -hmm. we get to make people laugh and, and make them feel a part of the community yes. that we feel part of. Yes, and my yeah. whole family's gonna be there. Oh, cool. So it's gonna be like a really cool experience. Yeah. My first time ever doing this, like this. Well, so I, you're gonna be I'm great. I'm excited. You're gonna be great. I I'm, excited, I'm excited to work with you too. Oh, cool. We've worked in the past together. Yeah, right. So mm -hmm. it comes all together somehow. Mm -hmm. So the gala is just a big night. What do you enjoy the most? Uh, I think I enjoy the performers the most. You know, we've got, like I said, we've gone through all the different locations. Mm -hmm. we, were, we were downtown, um, we were at the Renaissance as well, and now we're over at the Intercontinental, which, mm -hmm. you know, is a huge, big facility. And to be able to grow as we have is really cool. Yes, but it, being able to see the performers, the, the musician groups that get up, um, the dance groups that come up as well. Um, and then, of course, uh, the comedy thing that we were doing last year with the improv was really, mm -hmm. really cool. That was fun, fun to be a part of that and mm -hmm. and kind of um, see how see how it works. Like I got to see the um, the, the dancers at the Cavs game, mm -hmm. right? And, and they're going to be performing there again yes. this year, which yes. was really. I was like, I look on the jumbotron and there's all my friends right there in the jumbotron dancing at the Cavs game. So uh, it's that that to me uh, just to have that showcase, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because it puts uh, it puts a face to what we're talking about, yes. you know, and you actually get to see people doing what mm -hmm. they love to do it's not mm -hmm. just a bunch of people sitting at tables there's mm -hmm. actually there's interaction going on mm -hmm. and it again it brings that community together mm -hmm. and I saw you last year co-hosting the event because I was there as well mm -hmm. as one of the guests yeah um, so that was really cool to see how everything's going to work out and then now we're, ho now we're hosting together right? what, so it gives me feedback too what's your favorite part 
Oh, so many, so many things. Um, I, um, I love having my table there for yeah. my business. Right. And um, my favorite part is the, being a part of the whole event and seeing everything. And now but behind the scenes, and last year it wasn't. So it's just cool that it brings everybody together. Yeah, you get to see from both sides. You're not just yeah. a, a attending or helping with the business, but you yeah. get to see all the inner workings and how yeah. much it takes to really put together. Yes, and, and I'm also doing, for the, besides working with you, I'm also doing um, all the tables for the Summer's Gala. Um, all the center pieces oh, cool. for the inside, and also doing all the center pieces for the cocktail hour. Oh, wonderful! So what you see here is what we're doing for the tables, the inside, and then these back here are going to be for the cocktail hour. That's beautiful. And we're making Love all that. of these. Wow. Me and my team. Your team's getting ready. They're doing a lot of oh, work, they're, aren't they? They're working today to make this happen. So, <laughs> so um, thank you for. Thank you for talking with us today. Sure. Don't forget to um, to buy tickets at thesanio.org and join us at the Summer's Gala. And you can see both of us together, working together, and making a brighter future for everybody that's going to be there. We'll see you there. <laughs>